I want to say welcome to all my viewers from across the globe. Welcome to Ife's Global Channel. My name is Ife Onabu. On this channel, we aim to tell authentic African stories. We also aim to battle every form of false narrative about Africans, both at home and in the, in the diaspora. Today we'll be dealing with the late Thomas Sankara. But before we start, I want to say a big shout out to the people of Burkina Faso. And I want to start by asking who is Thomas Sankara? Thomas Sankara was born on 21st of December 1949 and he became the head of state of Burkina Faso via a military coup that took place on the 4th of August 1983. As a leader, Thomas Sankara was a breath of fresh air. He was unassuming, a very unassuming young man, a pan-Africanist, and a revolutionary after the mold of Che Guevara. Now, my, my, uh, I want to say one thing, folks, and everybody who's listening to me. It is a fallacy to think that only democratically elected leaders are loved by their people. Thomas Sankara was not elected, but he was loved by the people of Burkina Faso. In the same vein, a leader like the late General Muritala Mohamed of Nigeria was not elected when he became Nigeria's head of state on the 30th of July 1975. But he remains by far the most popular and effective leader Nigeria has ever known. I'll give another example. Flight Lieutenant Jerry Rollins Came, first came to power via a military coup. He remains a cult figure in, in, in Ghana and in Africa, even in death. So let us go ahead. Why was Sankara a breath of fresh air? Now, under Sankara, literacy rate in Burkina Faso dramatically improved from 13% to 73% in a space of four years. Sankara organized a vaccination program aimed at eradicating diseases like polio, like meningitis and measles, and in the process, over 2 million people were vaccinated. Under his regime, infant mortality in Burkina Faso fell drastically. Why was it a breath of fresh air? Sankara led a tree planting campaign aimed at preventing desertification. We all know that Burkina Faso lies in the Sahel region, or I would say a large chunk of Burkina Faso lies in the Sahel region and is prone to desert encroachment. Sankara was also a firm believer in women emancipation. He empowered the women of Burkina Faso by appointing them to high-profile state offices. He was a man who was fiercely opposed to foreign aid, and he did all infrastructural works in Burkina Faso from locally available uh, financial resources. Again, he led a very austere lifestyle, both in private and in public. He practiced what he preached. He was a servant of the people. He initiated a process of land reforms uh, that resulted in the distribution, or I would say redistribution of land from the local chiefs, making land available for farmers for productive uh, use. And he was a very strong voice in Africa and was against all forms, uh, all manifestations of neocolonialism. 
there was also a very firm believer in African cultural heritage. These are the things that make him unique as a leader. Uh, sadly, on the 15th of October 1987, Sankara was brutally assassinated in a coup d'etat organized and led by his own friend, Blaise Campoire. Campoire was then to preside over the affairs of Burkina Faso for decades, and there was nothing to show for his decades in power. And under his leadership, Burkina Faso regressed, and the people of Burkina Faso longed for the for, for, for the days of Sankara. Eventually, after many decades in power, Campari was forced into exile by a mass uprising. His regime collapsed under pressure from his own people. And then, on April 6, 2022, a military tribunal set up by the Burkina government found him guilty in absentia and they sentenced Campari to a life imprisonment. And at the time of making this video, Campari is in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. So it will be interesting to see how the government of Côte d'Ivoire will react to this development. Are they going to send him back to Burkina Faso to serve his sentence uh, in order to let other African despots know that they cannot go unpunished for crimes against their people. So even in death, Sankara is still loved by his people. He embodied the hopes and aspirations of the people of Burkina Faso. For now, the ghost of Sankara, which has been looming large over Burkina Faso, will hopefully find rest. And I do also hope that the people of Burkina Faso will find healing from the outcome of this trial. I want to thank you for watching. If you like our content, please subscribe to this channel, like and share with friends, with colleagues, with acquaintances and with family, because when you do so, you help us to grow. Thank you. Bye.